So hi, I'm Melinda Elmer and I'm with Century 21 Masters and today we're going to talk about trust deed investing. So today we're going to talk about trust deed investing and what that is. And I have Jonathan Marshall here today with Bella Vita Property Investments. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Mel. My pleasure. Excellent. So the big question is, what is trust deed investing? Trust deed investing is like what the banks would do when they finance real estate acquisitions. So a lot of people hear real estate investing and they think ownership approach. They're going to own the property. Trust deed investing is essentially the banker's approach where you finance the real estate. Uh, some, in most cases, non owner occupied types of properties. Uh, an investor would be going after the property. They need funding for it. And a trust deed investor would finance the property by loaning that investor some funding for it. And basically, like a bank, would realize the return of their investment via mortgage checks. Or it could be long-term gains via equity share on the property. A lot of people look at trustee investing as a more lucrative alternative investment strategy because they're used to the typical stocks and bonds and mutual funds where returns may not be what they'd like and expect. So trustee investing, I mean, you can see anywhere from a 6% return on up into the double digits, even above 20%. So it just depends on the type of actual investment itself, the position of the terms of the loan, a lot of variables, but there's a large spread that can be attained for the individual. And that's a lot better than savings accounts these days. Most definitely. <laughs> I will say this. I mean, one thing savings accounts have are liquidity. Each day you can go in and get your funding out. But if, like any investment, a lot of times the basis of the term, how long it is, is going to dictate the return you attain. Right. So who would be an ideal candidate for something like that? Well, naturally, this is, you know, it's an investment. So someone who has liquid capital or in some cases, if not a liquid capital to invest, it could be a qualified self-directed IRA would qualify. So either one of those two scenarios, someone who's basically somewhat of an accredited investor, they may already know a lot about investing, be investing in other areas of the markets, you know, the typical things we're used to, but they just aren't happy with their returns. So they would be ideal because they may be interested in something that's more lucrative. Um, but other than that, I would say that, you know, any person, even if they're thinking about getting in into investing, maybe not experienced yet, this is good knowledge to have. Knowing about this option, if you didn't know about it, you can't make a decision on if it's right for you. Is there a minimum amount of money that somebody might need to have before they really want to think about this kind of investment? A lot of investments will basically be looked at one of two ways. Do you want to be the sole entity person on the deed of trust? Just your name? Or are you willing to be basically a you know, a co-owner or co-investor with multiple people. And so there are ways to do fractional investments. And if you're you know, willing to do that and have multiple people on the deed of trust, or in some cases being part of a trust account, and the trust account is on the deed of trust. So if a person doesn't have a lot of money to obviously go and fund an entire deal themselves, there are ways around that. And I've seen places and personally experienced things where people will accept as little as around $10,000. But obviously, that's not going to be enough to do an entire deed of trust yourself. California, our market around here, you'd probably be looking at $300,000 or more if you wanted to be sole entity on that, on that note. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And is, what would kind of a general time frame be that somebody would be looking at for a turnaround for their investment? Personally, I like to deal with the 12 to 18 month time frame. I don't like my money to be sitting out there for a long time. I like it back quicker and sooner so I can get it turned over and back working again. So sometimes you might see really nice things where they're only about six to eight months. Those are great when they happen, but I like to stick to the things that I see are about maybe 10 to 12 months, and then I pad those with a little extra you know, expectation to only be around an 18 month max. Okay, great. So if someone wants to get more information about trustee investing, where should they reach you? I can be reached via my website. It's bellavitapi.com. That's B E L L A V I T A P I.com. Otherwise, you can reach me on my phone, 562 216 3227. And of course, if you have any other real estate questions or have referrals for me, I'd be happy to help them out. My number is 562 316 2915, or you can email me at melinda at theelmerteam.com. 
Thanks so much for watching and please feel free to share this with your friends.